Okay, this is what I'm, I'm working on now. It's um, back to the, what a lot of people call a solenoid engine. But I was corrected once when I didn't really describe what was going on here. This is a reciprocating electrical motor or engine, if you want to call it an engine. It's really a reciprocating. Like all it is is a coil of wire, something going through the middle of the coil of the wire with magnets and a simple make and break on the, on the little crankshaft here in a flywheel. But after this project here, where I was driving it with this thing here, I was just wondering if you could make a hybrid one of these that um, incorporated all of this stuff into a, a central design. And uh, anyway, the thing spun off in a completely different direction, as it, these projects do. And I decided to go ahead and um, refine this um, reciprocating electrical motor again. And what I've learned with the 3D printing and stuff is I might be able to build a rather interesting reciprocating electrical motor based on what I've learned here. And um, one of the things about this motor here, or this uh, engine, was it used a ball. These are the little pistons that are inside that thing there. One of them goes this, the little one goes this way, and the big one goes in and out. And I thought, well, maybe I can make a reciprocating electrical engine using the ball with magnets on the end of the ball or something. But I, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to refine what I've got going on here. I made another one uh, yesterday that had small magnets that actually went inside the coil. So it was really like a solenoid inside the coil. And here again, using 3D printing, you can go further with these designs and um, the triggering of course would be several different ways to trigger it but um, anyway that's what I'm up to is this um, um, project with the um, electrical uh, reciprocating engine design another thing I thought about doing was going backwards and going back to the paper and wooden straw type deal to make one of these not in 3d printing but out of paper and wood and granddad's initial project that got me going somebody wrote him and wanted to know if he could make an air engine not using 3d printing and so granddad and uh, he used this uh, uh, yaney's idea uh, of the paper tubes got me started on this project and I just wonder if you could actually do this whole air engine not using 3D printing, but actually making it out of paper and wood products that you could build up if you didn't have a 3D printer. So anyway, here again, I don't know if maybe I would go backwards and forwards on this project here with this reciprocating electrical motor and um, go that direction. But we'll see. It's always an adventure. Thanks for watching.